author Odessar compositions and component architectures in Simulink by creating Odessar architecture models. I will demonstrate the authoring to ARXML and code generation by building an Odessar compliant throttle position control system. Here are the component model implementations. For example, you can see there is a controller model and throttle position uh, sensor model. Next, we can author an architecture by launching the Simulink start page. Let me open this software architecture template. And in this new Simulink tool strip, the modeling tab supports common tasks for architecture modeling. Over here, the palette includes icons for software component, composition, and for basic software modeling, including diagnostic service component and NVRAM service component to add to the model. This purpose-built editor is called Composition Editor. It provides a view of Odessar software architecture based on the Odessar virtual function bus. Let me clear the default content from the window so that I can construct a new composition. Since we have a bunch of sensor components, let me create a subcomposition architecture for sensors. Inside sensors, we add a component and call it TPS underscore primary. Notice there is option to create a new Simulink model for this component or link to an existing Simulink model or create component from an ARXML. Here we will link to our RSR underscore throttle sensor one model. Notice the batch on the component changes to reflect component kind specified by the model. Similarly, we will add the rest of the sensor components and connect them up. So here the composition editor uses all the great things you like about Simulink's intuiting editing capabilities. It automatically reduces line clutter as you wire your connections. Now that we have assembled our composition hierarchy, we can update the model to flush out any integration issues. Maybe inconsistent interfaces or data types. Okay, great. All good to go here. We will now save our model and call it TPS underscore composition. You use the same extension as any regular Simulink model. Now that we have created our composition, I will show you integration with Simulink requirements. So for that, let me open the Requirements Manager app. It opens the Requirements tab and we can open the Requirements set and then select a um, requirements file. Notice that it contains four of the throttle position control application components. To link an Odessar component to a requirement, we can drag the requirement from the browser to the component block. Now the natural next step in the workflow is to apply V and V by simulating the composition. For that, we will turn on function connectors to visualize the function calls that component models may be calling. So notice here, the throttle sensor model calls into NVM service uh, functions and also diagnostic service functions. To simulate, let me add the reference implementation for both diagnostics and NVRAM service component blocks. Let's update the model again. And over here, we can 
configure the IDs for the client ports. The next thing I would like to connect the composition inputs and outputs to real stimulus data. I have a test harness model, the throttle body plant and pedal input. We will add a model block and reference TPC composition and then connect inputs and outputs. Here I will schedule all the entry point runnables for my composition components using the schedule editor. I can visualize and control the order of execution of the runnables. All right, looks great. Let's hit play to make sure your algorithm is conforming to your requirements. Okay, now let me generate RSR code for the components and export the whole composition ARXML, also an ARXML for components. Okay, now with the composition, one usually is dealing with a number of components and therefore a number generated artifacts. Over here, we have made it easy for you to collect all these artifacts so you are ready with the next step in the workflow, which is likely to integrate with the RTE external environment. So we optionally create your uh, zip file, which contains all the generated code and error XML for the whole hierarchy. This has started building the components one by one. And you can notice the progress on Diagnostic Weaver. Great, it looks pretty fast. Um, let's examine the generated zip file. So over here, there are two subfolders, one for air XML and then for source code. Let's open the air XML folder. You can notice each RSR component as component and implementation description files while the architecture model has composition, data type, and interface description files. Let me look at the source code. Each component model has a build folder that contains artifacts from a standalone model build. This looks great. Now you have learned how to author RSR architecture in Simulink. You can try this example on your own by using this shipping example. For more details on our RSR support, please visit RSR Blocks at page on mathworks.com. Thank you.